All right, Shalom. Giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rachakodash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. Peace and salutations unto the brothers. The Archeum pushing this truth through the four corners of the earth in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever. To the scattered, the speckled bird Israelites, who be scattered among the heathen, I say Shalom. And I say shalom unto the few and faithful aquat, the few sisters, listening and learning. This is your brother Yerushalam from the GMS Prophetic Vibrations Camp. Out of Trinidad and Tobago coming at you with another video. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Racha Kodash. Now this video is going to be entitled, My Heritage is Unto Me as a Speckled Bird. Alright. You know, and this video was um, pretty much inspired by um, a comment that someone made you know to me well, earlier this week all right um pretty much you know insinuating that um you know all the the the, the 12 tribes of israel you know they, they're gonna look like so-called negroes you know so-called black all right you know and you know this level of ignorance you know has to stop all right you know because more and more you have um you have you have israelites who scattered among the heathen right looking like the heathen and they're waking up you know they waking up you know according to the book the chapter um daniel chapter 12 12 chapter all right so you know in this photo here but what pretty much is seen is um is a picture you know that's representing people you know that's a random picture i took from from um from the internet showing people of different um so-called well races different nations you know um it look it seems to be like that but you know it's the same way how how the Israelites gonna look today, you know. All Israel not gonna look like the guy up in the back, you know, in the middle. Alright, some gonna be looking like so called Edomites, some gonna be looking like so called Moabites, some gonna be looking like so called Ammonites, which is what Chinese, Japanese, you know, um, you know, um, so called white men, alright, East Indians, alright, you know, just Elam, you know. So, you know, this thing is not to be carnal, you know. And, um, first of all, let me start off with that scripture you know because at the end of the day to be carnally minded is what is death Okay, let me um try to get that on Google. Right, Romans eight and six, right? Romans eight and verse six it says, For to be carnally minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace, you know. So that is telling you know more and more now now as things progressing, you know, and even as things are as things in as 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 this wood pushes on and more and more people wake up, you know, and Lord willing, you know, when me when when he, when Jake said I get, you know, the many Lord said I get that spiritual power, right? And more and more people are gonna wake up at a rap more rapid rate. Right? It's it's more it's even more than that we can't be carnal, right? Because they're gonna be Jake's coming out of these different nations, you know why because the lord said you know hey we're gonna be scattered to all nations you know because we sin all right we're gonna be scattered to all nations it says um deuteronomy 28 and verse uh, let's read from verse 15 it says but it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the lord thy god to observe and to do all his commandments and his statutes which i command thee this day that all these curses shall come come upon thee and overtake thee all right so jumping down to verse 64 all right it says it reads and the lord shall scatter thee among all people so this is a curse right from one end of the earth even unto the other and there thou shalt serve other gods which neither thou nor thy fathers have known even wood and stone so a lot of jake you know we scattered among the nations all right you know we known as minorities you know blacks you know hispanics native americans you know um punjabi all right you know um all these other these bywords you know that they put on us you know which is another sign of the curses all right 
so so our people you know where we were scattered among these people you know we not all of us look the same way like how we used to look like so-called negroes all right you know because we in a lot of cases we would have married among the women of the nations and that's in the scriptures all right so if you go to fact and that's going to prove that you know before i go there it's going to prove that hey the lineage the lineages lineage of, of an israelite or any other nation for that matter comes from the seed lineage which is the the father the paternal lineage all right the paternal lineage so let me go to numbers uh the first chapter and verse 18 but this is how how, how your lineage is, is done you know in all among all the nations you know if your father's an israelite you know you you are an israelite too if your father's an edomite and you'll be an edomite all right so and so and so with all the other nations so this numbers 1 and 18 it reads and they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month and they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers all right not by the house of your mothers all right because a lot of these um these jewish people you know who, who pretending to be us in the land right now you know they go by the lineage of their father of their mothers all right but no in israel from a fourth time all right you know we were we went by the lineage of our father that's how we know that you're an israelite doesn't matter whether your mothers are hidden or not once that seed that's put into that woman you know put into that earth a woman is like the earth you know and the man is like the, what the farmer the, the seed the seed um the man who sow, sows the seed all right you know once that seed put into that woman that that um that seed is going to be an israelite if it's a man is an israelite it's going to be an israelite it's not it can't come out as anything else all right so after the pedigrees of their father by the house of their family sorry by the house of their fathers all right so that just i show you plain in one you know things that were written up for time you know before time was written for our learning so this is for this time all right according to the number of the names from 20 years old and upward by their poles so this is vitally important you know and this this just debunks you know that plantation christianity you know what which basically they say you know yahweh shai who, who the world ignorantly calls jesus christ you know he he was um he was he was um they believe that they they say basically that he go his lineage comes from his mother mary you know which is a lie all right when he goes when he go to the match the first chapter you know you only see men you know talking about the lineage of men a couple of women are mentioned but to give context but they the only the only thing the only thing um the only lineage there is about the men right so matthew 1 and verse um verse um one the book of the generation of yahweh shia mashiach the son of david the son of abraham abraham begat isaac and isaac begat jacob and jacob begat judas so it's a whole long lineage you could take a read of this whole chapter right of men begetting men right because the man is the nation all right man is the nation woman comes from man not in the scriptures too you know man didn't come from woman but woman of the man right and if you if you understand the scriptures you know and you know that men are considered that men were referred to as trees in the scriptures and uh, when you look in certain scriptures and for example when you look to when you go to the book of ezekiel all right um see if i can get the book of ezekiel here Ezekiel, the third chapter, the first chapter, right, the third verse, it says, Behold, the Assyrian was a cedar in Lebanon with fair branches and with a shadowing shroud and had a high stature, and his top was among the thick bows. Now, when you go down here, you realize, you know, this is talking about men, all right? Israel, you know, mainly, or Israel and the other trees couldn't really measure up to Israel, all right? You know, and when you go back, if you go back in the book of Genesis, Genesis chapter 1, and around the 29th verse, it said, And the Lord said, and God said, Behold, I've given you every, this really the Allahayim, I've given you every herb bearing seed, which is upon the face of the earth, and every tree, in which is the fruit of the tree yielding seed. You know, and this talk about, you know, about the trees, you know, and the seed that we can eat, what we can eat, you know, but, you know it could also be taken in terms of um the reference of a man all right because the man being the nation the man is like a tree bearing the seed you know and that seed now when it drops from the tree goes into the ground the woman like it onto the ground right and, it, and and it's gonna that seed is gonna sprout forth from the ground so it doesn't matter 
what type of ground that seed fall on. Right? It could fall on red ground, you know, Edomite ground or Edomite woman. It could be placed in an Edomite woman. It could be placed in a Moabite woman. It could be placed in an Elamite woman. Right? It's going to be that same seed. Right? You know, maybe maybe it's going to, due to the nature of the ground, right, it may take on certain characteristics. It might grow as tall, it might grow as big, it might be as dark, it might be as light. But guess what? If it's an orange tree, it's gonna, if it's an orange tree seed, it's going to bear orange trees. If it's, a, if it's a, a seed from an apple tree, it's going to bear apple trees. doesn't matter the earth that it's put into. All right? So that's just to get context. All right? Because, hey, it's, it's known, as I said, I read in Deuteronomy 20 and 64, that we were scattered to all corners of the earth among every nation. All right? Um, I'm going to go Hosea chapter 8 and verse 8. Just a quick precept again. Israel is swallowed up. Now shall they be among the Gentiles, as the heathens, as a vessel wherein there is no pleasure, because why? We being treated like rejects, you know, we, we, we are the lowest of the low, right now. Alright? But well, that's going to change. Because when Yahweh Shai come back, you're going to turn everything around. Alright? So, um, so I'm going to go into a few other scriptures just to prove this fact. Hit a few other quick precepts. All right, this is, um, let's go into first Esdras. Back to the Apocrypha. First Esdras, chapter 8 and verse 69. All right, it reads, The nation of Israel, the princes, the priests, and the Levites have not put away from them the strange people of the land. Because when we went to the land, you know, we started, we still were mixing among the, the peoples, right? nor the pollutions of the Gentiles, right? So, you know, we will follow now for the wicked ways which the Lord forbid us to do, all right? Because, you know, even King Solomon, even in his later later years, he was drawn away from the Lord, you know, by these, these hidden women, you know? And, you know, there's nothing wrong with having these hidden women as concubines, but the, the issue is that, you know, they pull us away from our power, our Lord, all right? Um, nor the pollutions of the Gentiles to wit, of the Canaanites, which is Africans, Hittites, Africans, Perizzites, Jebusites, Moabites, talking about the um, Chinese, Egyptians, we know that is an Edomite, the so-called white man. So we mix them among all these people, right? For both they and their sons have married with their daughters, and the holy seed is mixed with the strange people, and holy means what? Separate. So our seed was mixed with the strange people of the land, from, and from the beginning of this matter, the rulers of the great men have been partakers of this iniquity. So our seed, when it was scattered, you know, we mixed among the nation. We took their women. Alright? You know, they also took they we, we they also took our women too as well. You know, that's why they have tears around the place, you know, and that's why the Lord gonna sift the house of Israel eventually as well. Alright, so so they so this just proves alright that hey our seed is was mixed with strange people are land, you know, that, that seed, the seed has come from the man. So which means the children are offspring are what the offspring are Israelites. Alright? Um which is why the Lord said what? And this is the scripture, you know, that this video was made after. Alright, um Let's go to the book of Jeremiah, chapter twelve, and verse Jeremiah twelve and verse nine. It reads, Mine heritage is unto me as a speckled bird. Alright? And a speckled bird, when it goes into that word, speckled bird. Alright? It means a bird of many colors. Alright? Strong's age, 6641. Savoua. Savoua. Meaning colored, variated, or speckled. And why are we speckled? Because, hey, in the other nations look different from us. But when we put continuously, when we were scattered to these places, all right, and our seed go into a woman, for instance, an Edomite woman, right, the, the offspring could begin, begin to look like the woman, all right, and then when that son, a son from that union again, which is an Israelite, goes into another Edomite woman, then, you know, you can't really tell the difference between a normal so-called white man or Edomite, you know, and, and, that, and that seed, all right. So my heritage, Jeremiah 12 and 9, my heritage is unto me as a speckled bird. The birds round about are against her. Come ye, assemble all the beasts of the field, come to the vow, because all the other birds are against our people. You know, wherever we 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 are uh, we scattered, even though we look like them, they're still oppressing us. Uh, you're still going through the curses in Deuteronomy 28, 
from verse 15 down to 68. All right, so that just proves who we are. All right, so you, don't, you can't be carnal in this thing. This is the book of Ezra, chapter 9, and verse 1. You know, just to prove again, it says, Now, when these things were done, the princes came to me saying, The people of Israel and the priests and the Levites have not separated themselves from the people of the lands, doing according to the abominations, even the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Perizzites, the Jebusites, the Moabites, the, Mo the, the Ammonites, the Moabites, and the Egyptians, and the Amorites. For they have taken their daughters for themselves and for their sons, so that the Holy Seed have mingled themselves with the people in, of those lands. So it is telling even plain, yea, the hand of the princes and rulers have been chief in this press by trespass. So the, 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 the leaders, you know, were taking a lot of these women and, and basically probably purchasing them for their sons. All right, so Israel began to look different. All right, you know, and this is just showing you the history right here. All this was written for our learning. Okay, the main problem with this is not us mixing with them, but but in terms of us following after their ways and and the strange idols, all right, which when the strange idols and the gods, the false idols, all right, that was the main problem with this, because when 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 Jake married onto these women, you know, they not they didn't they didn't subdue those women, and those women who teaching their children, you know, you know these abominable ways, all right, and their languages and so forth, all right. You know, instead of, you know, and, and as well as the husbands, you know, being, being weakened by these women. You know, being that a woman, you know, is a woman, a woman could swear a man. All right? The wickedness of our, all wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. Scripture tell you that. All right? So, so we're going to go to Ezra chapter 10 and verse um, 17. Again, we're going to prove here. It says, um, and they... And they made an end with all the men that had taken strange wives by the first day of the first month. So they, they put them to death. Alright, all the men were taken strange wives because they were going off. Not because they took the wives. Alright. They were going off, following after strange idols. Alright, jumping down to verse 44. It says, well, this whole list in here, you're going down here, is the ones who, take, who took strange wives. So it says, verse 44, all these had taken strange wives and some of them had wives by whom they had children so so that's telling you hey, you know among all these these men here listed here who had taken strange wives they had children with these women with these women of the other nations who looked different so the children obviously gonna look different another precept i'm gonna go to is the book of nehemiah chapter 13 and verse 23 all right it reads and in those days also saw I Jews, right? Um, these, are, these are Israelites of the tribes of Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, were the Jews that had married wives of Ashdod, which is uh, what? So called Africans, right? Of Ammon, which is the Japanese, and of Moab, which is, which is the Chinese. Alright? And they and their children speak half in the speech, speak of, speech of Ashdod, and could not speak in the Jews' language, which is Hebrew, the holy tongue. Well, according to the language of each people, all right. So, and I contended with them and cursed them and smote certain of them. So Nehemiah killed some of them and plucked off their hair and made them swear by God, saying, "You shall not give your daughters unto their sons, nor take their do your, their daughters unto your sons for yourselves." All right. And this he just goes on to explain here the reason why he wouldn't shouldn't do that because King Solomon did it, and he he eventually end up sinning, you know, because why? Not because he took the woman. Alright, but because these, these women caused them to sin, you know, these strange wives, alright, caused them to sin against Mosai, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, alright, so, so yeah, in, in the kingdom, we're going to have these con women as concubines, but guess what, we're not going to go off, because that law is going to be written in our mind, you know, in what parts, alright, so, so, so our people are a speckled bird, alright, you know, we are a speckled bird, you know, our people, you know, we, we look like every other nation right now, all right so you know and, and it's important you know especially as men in the truth you know see certain brothers you know they they sometimes they make they may go off by saying you know there are certain things you know which basically reveal that you know in their mind they're being carnal you know but at the end of the day you can't be carnal in this thing you gotta keep yourself spiritual you know that's why the scripture say you know you, you examine yourself all right you must examine yourself in fact um let me get that See if I can get that. All right, take a 
from here. Second Corinthians, um, thirteen and five. Second Corinthians chapter 13 and verse 5 it, says, it reads, Examine yourselves whether you be in the faith, prove your own selves. Know ye not, um, know ye not your own selves that Yahweh Shah Mashak is in you, except you be reprobate. So a reprobate is known is gonna say that you know all all Israelites look like um look like Wesley Snipes. Alright? Look so called like a look like a so called black man. That's a lie. Alright, so you have to examine yourself, you know, to make sure that you need faith and you understand this, this proper doctrine, this 100% truth. Alright, because hey, as the, as the scriptures say, man look at the outward appearance, but what you have you or shall look at the heart. This first Samuel chapter 16 and verse 7, it reads, But the Lord said unto Samuel, look not on his countenance, it's speaking about um, King David's brother, alright, because he was a tall, handsome guy, alright. So he said, Look not on his countenance or on the height of his stature, because I have refused him. For your heart was seeth not as man seeth. For man looketh on the outward appearance, but the Lord looketh on the heart. Don't look on your heart, which is what? Laab, your mind. Alright? If you have a mind for him. You know? If you're a man after his own heart. Alright? As King David was. Alright? So a man after the Lord's own heart gonna understand this truth. You know, I'm not gonna be carnal. Alright? Because um you know, <laughs> you know, it's, it's difficult. You know, it's, it's 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 difficult for some people to grasp this. You know, and that's those who wrestle with the wood, all right. But um, you know, so so without being able to recognize a Jake by by um him looking carnal, him looking like in a so-called Negro, Latino, Native American. You know, how are you gonna do that? You know, how are you gonna how are you gonna recognize that person? Because the Lord said, His Spirit bear witness. With our spirit, all right. That's right, so, um, Romans, Romans eight, and verse sixteen. It reads, "The spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of God." So, so Israel have us a, a different spirit, carry a different spirit from the other nations. You know, and the Holy Spirit is only working with 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 Jake, with Israel. All right. You know we. There, there are three parts three, three parts of men you know they are the um you know there are three parts of men and it's basically that's a spirit also going into a spiritual order they're the sons of men which is israel all right all right they're the sons of god Selakia, which is israel sons of the power the sons of men which is 16 nations excluding esau edom and then there are sons of the wicked which is esau so-called white man all right the three parts of men and that is you know the, the order that israel is on top you know um, Deuteronomy 7 and 6 Alright, so that's that spirit that the Lord gave us You know, you know the Lord put a, the Lord put a difference within us Alright, that difference You know, is in the scriptures You know, he put that difference with Exodus 11 And verse 7 It reads But against any of the children of Israel Shall not a dog move its tongue Against man or beast That he may know how the Lord That put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel, you know, and that's important because why originally we so called Negroes look just like the Egyptians, you know. I, you know, we have pictures, you know, that show, you know, um, what are basically a set of a set of dark complexion people being whipped by another set of dark complexion people, you know, you know, who would be very which pretty much taller and slimmer than the, the other people, right? So, you know, that was Egyptians basically when they had us in captivity in Egypt and whipping us when we had to build their temples. You know the 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 um the cities, all right. The cities of the pharaohs, the sphinx, all the abominations, right? You know, and the Lord said He put a difference in Israel. You know, it, and that's important because um, you know, as the Lord said um, we were made separate. When you go into this word difference, let's see if we can get our word to put a difference, all right. Strong's H sixty three ninety five. Pala. 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 It means to be distinct, marked out, separate, distinguished. So the Lord made us separate, which is what holy. Because that's what holy means, being separate. Alright? 
you know, and, and, and that just proves, even though Esau and Edom came out of Isaac, you know, he was still separated. What the scriptures say? All right, the scriptures say in Genesis 25, Genesis 25 and verse 23. All right. It's, it reads, And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. Right? Separated there, you believe would. And one people shall be stronger than the other, and the elder shall serve the younger. Right? So the one people are stronger is Jacob. Right? And the elder is going to serve the younger, which is Esau. Esau is going to serve Jacob. And that's what it's going to be in the end of time forever. All right? So this just shows you we are separate, you know, again. Deuteronomy 32 and verse 8. Um, it says, when the Most High divided to the nations the inheritance, which their lands and so forth, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. For the Lord's portion is his people, Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. So you, you see there, the, you can see right there the preeminence of Jacob over the other nations. You know, the Lord separated the nations. Anything that's talking about the nations being united is of the devil. All right, because that, that's the spiritual tower, spiritual tower of Babel being built again. You know, because the Lord told the people, hey, separate, multiply, you know, um, separate. Basically, tell them, um, go their way and in one onto their own lands and um, be fruitful and multiply. But what the people did, they want to build a tower of Babel. All right. So they didn't want to be separate. They didn't want to be together. So this whole, this whole new world order is based on everybody wanting to be one. All right. Everybody being united under who? Under the wicked. All right. So, um, so the Lord sanctified and made his people holy. And that, that separation is chiefly in the spirit, but Jake have a have a superior spirit, but also it goes into the into physical as well. Alright? Because our temple is more sanctified. Alright? Which is why, you know, Jake could do a lot of things, you know, which is why they seek to, you know, take our bodies in one experiment on them, you know, and all these things go into all that. So the Lord said um his people are separate, right? You know, we we made he make us um he made us different. He made us um as we went back, as we go back in this scripture, Exodus eleven and verse seven. Um it says that put a difference, alright? Because physically speaking, we look like the look like somebody any so called Negroes who look like the Egyptians. Alright? You get that in the book of uh Amos chapter nine and verse seven. It says, Are ye not as a ch as the children of Ethiopians unto me, O children of Israel, saith the Lord, have not I brought you um, brought up Israel out of the land of Egypt and the Philistines from Camta and the Syrians from Ker? So you know we as the Egyptians, which means we look like the Egyptians as well, and the and the Egypt the Ethiopians. Um, Moses himself, you know, passed for an Egyptian. All right, he grew up in the, in the, as a prince in the Pharaoh's house. All right. Apostle Paul was taken for Egyptian, right? The Lord, our Lord Yahweh Shai, his family, Mary and Joseph, took him into Egypt to preserve his life, all right? So this just proves that, all right? And then at the end, we had to understand at the end of time, you know, which is coming up soon, because we're in the last days, you know, that, that, um, that drag net, you know, which is equal to the internet, right? The preaching has gone out. It's the truth, this, truth, this word, you know, is gathering, is gathering different kinds and let me let me go to that scripture here um this is the book of matthew chapter 13 and verse 47 all right it reads again the kingdom of heaven is like unto a net right that was cast into the sea and gathered every kind right you know why it was cast in the sea sea represent the peoples the peoples of the earth all right and gathered every kind because why we went because we we scattered among every kind, right? Among every people, all right? Um, um, which, when it was full, they drew ashore and sat down and gathered the good into vessels, but cast away the bad. So this is the sifting, that's, this is sifting period, you know? The Lord say he, what he will command, lo, he will command and sift the house of Israel. All right, let me go to that scripture here in Amos 9. And verse 9, it says, For lo, behold, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations, like as the corn is sifted in the sieve. Right? So that corn is sifted in the sieve. So they're picking out the you picking out the good ones and the bad ones and leaving out the bad ones. Yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth, because all the elect are going to be saved. 
All right, all the elect going to be saved. This is the tabernacle of King David being built up again. So going back to that scripture in Matthew 13 and verse, verse 47, 48. All right, it says, which when it was full, they drew ashore and sat down and gathered the good into vests, but cast away the bad, so as he sifted in. All right, and the um, was important to understand, slack here, the good being gathered into, into um, being gathered into vessels is talking about the elect of the nation of Israel being picked up by the chariots. But they're going to be the good is going to be gathered by vessels. But the net, the net that going out in the face of the earth is talking about the internet, you know, the YouTube where which is cast in you know, the in internet, which is in the earth net, you know, the, the elder brother Amon Kaba is always going to that, all right, for main camp, all right, into the earth net, which talk about what this internet, you know, this ethernet that goes through the four corners of the earth. You know this unicorn you know that we bind in our in our in our crib all right right now that's how i'm coming to you right now through this through the spirit and power of your washing your shy through this internet all right so this this um this net now is was is what is sending out the wood you know is the bait to catch the fish all right which are the people which are the israelites israelites right so the good will be got into vessels we're going into the chariot all right but the bad was cast away so shall it be at the end of the world, which is now the end of the age, and the angels, the end of the which will end up Esau Edom's world, and the angels shall come forth and sever the wicked from among the just. So the angels going to be the sifting, all right. The angels going to be in the chariots and pulling up the elect, beaming them up, all right. So the bad going to be thrown away, and the bad going to be in take part into the second second death, all right, which is the we basically going into two thirds of Israel, all right. Because when we go to the book of um. Back. Let me get it in the in the sixteen eleven. All right, um, Zechariah thirteen verse eight. It says, and it shall come to pass that in all the land, say that the Lord, two parts then shall be cut off and die, but the third part shall be left in. The two parts going into the dark, more the bad, right? The, the you know the Israelites who who wouldn't come back to the Lord, wouldn't come back to the Lord's statutes and commandments. And would know the name of the heavenly father and his beloved son Yahweh Shai. Alright, but the third shall be left therein, and will bring the third part through the fire, and will refine them as silver is refined, and I will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name, and I will hear them. I will say it is my people, and they shall say, The Lord is my God. So this is what's going on here. So shall be at the end of the world, the end of this age, the end of Esau's age. The angel shall come forth and sever the wicked from among the just. And the wicked gonna take part in you know in the, the, the death by fire, which is the ICBM nuclear disaster. The um be some of destruction that's gonna sweep the world, the sweep this world, you know, Babylon, you know, according to um Isaiah the fourteenth chapter. So um you know this is this is real and, and this this great this this um this massive massive multitude that I speak about in the book of Revelation, you know, uh, in Revelation um verse seven. Would be would be the speckled bird from around the world, you know. So they're going to be just as we see in Matthew 13 here, all right. When they talk about um, they've got it of every kind, you know, because some gonna come looking like Moabites, some gonna looking like Ammonites, all right, you know. Some gonna come looking like like every other nation under heaven where we scattered. So Revelation 7 and verse. So Revelation 7, you know, when they go down Revelation 7. And in the hundred well, after the hundred and forty four thousand are sealed, you know, which is also the elect, the, the, the prophets of the Lord, which which also were also scattered among the people among the very different countries so they could prophesy to the people wherever they scattered to. Alright? And when we go down um Revelation seven and verse nine, after this I beheld and lo a great multitude which no man could number all nations and kindred so you see kindreds and people and tongues stood before the throne and before the lamb clothed with white robes and this what is going back to acts the second chapter all right where where you know the apostles would have gotten the holy spirit upon them and started speaking different tongues and languages you know and the front the men of israel the jews it says which is judah benjamin and levi who were scattered in these nations Began, began to understand each man in his own tongue when he was born I right, roughly paraphrasing so this just shows you you know this is the same people they're speaking about here who scattered who look different a lot of them would look different they wouldn't look the same all right 
stood before the throne and before the Lamb clothed with white robes and palms in their hands, and cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our power which set it upon the throne and unto the Lamb. Right? And all the angels stood around about the throne and about the elders and the four beasts and fell before the throne on their faces, worshipping the Most High. Alright? Um, saying, Amen, blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be unto our power forever and ever. Amen. And one of the elders answered, saying unto me, What are these which are arrayed in white robes? And whence came they? Alright, so the only elders answered, saying unto him, you know, asked him, Who are these people? But the elder, the elder already knew. Right? He was just testing to see if he knew. And I said unto them, Sir, thou knowest. And, and he said unto me, These are they which came out of great tribulation, and have washed their robes, and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Right? Therefore are they before the throne of the Most High, and serve him day and night in his temple. And he that sitteth on the throne shall dwell among them. This is Israel, who came out of all these different nations and kindreds and people and tongues looking different speaking different languages all right you know that's why john couldn't recognize them when he said so thou knowest all right because you know you know at the end of the day they didn't, they didn't look like a typical israelite how we how we originally looked all right so with that i pray this lesson has been edifying i want to give all praises honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rakakwadash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone, peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect, Shalawam and Abad Babal.